because you have so much like fluid build up too from doing it way too long yeah and it would just be like this weird like it doesn't even look like a penis anymore it's just this (laughs) giant hammer hanging off you yeah and the only thing you you can do with it is slap you have to take a magnum and like go like that and like pull it over because you can't even roll it on and then you just show up with this balloon dick ready to go anytime you deprive yourself of anything your brain clearly shifts into a state of like over you know compensate try to accumulate that in some exaggerated way like if you haven't had sex for like two weeks or something and you have you know high test you're just like and you could you just want to like go fuck like crazy versus if you have it like every day <laughs> it's not that case so if you're like really fat and you have all these nutrients hey. available your body is not like that worried it's kind of like we can chill out and hibernate versus if you're like borderline super skinny it's like go get fucking food you're about to die bro that so uh, it keeps your brain sharper maybe Wait, uh, on that topic, I have to, I have to re- a little rebuttal about the sex every day, but you know, maybe yeah, yeah, just... that's what I want to ask about. What do you guys do? You guys think that like I often get questions from there's like a big movement called no fap or something yeah. like that. I, I, I'm older than that generation, I, I don't think, even know what fap is. I think it's mostly the dopaminergic system that you continue to stimulate with obscure porn that's get more obscure yeah. and obscure oh, over true. time, <laughs> right? So, like, if you don't do that. Like what I did like years ago, you don't follow those Instagram models, right? You maybe can follow a couple of girls that you know from the gym. And if they're super sexy, you just mute them. So you build, <laughs> not really, because it, it, you get oversaturated, dude. And a lot yeah. of the libido consultations that I get are from over masturbation and overstimulation yeah. from, from society. So you see a lot of these Instagram girls, unfollow them. You see a lot of ads yeah. with sexual innuendo, unfollow it, right? Stop watching that stuff. You build it up and you hold it for your partner. It's like yeah. you're doing like little sets at home with your biceps, and then you want to do a bicep workout at the end of the day, dude. You're, it's not gonna, <laughs> it's not going to work. So a lot of these issues just by overstimulation, and then due to this dopaminergic system which builds up, right? This yeah. this, this this response. By the time you actually have sex, it's no longer pleasurable. Because it, it's not representative of right, the porn, uh, porn that you've been exposing yourself to. So if you don't do any of that, by the end of the day that your partner gives you a wink, dude, you're ready to roll. Even after eight years of marriage. it's Yeah. Yeah. The guys who, uh, a lot of guys, especially bodybuilders who get ED, like sometimes it's hormone mismanagement for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Having like estrogen imbalance, you know, sometimes progestogenic activity is problematic prolactin but a lot of cases i think it's just guys who their sex drive is really high and they touch their dick way too much and watch <laughs> porn and so it's like 99 percent of the time especially if it's a natural guy i'm like just d- don't touch your dick for two weeks and don't watch porn for two weeks yeah that's a, a lot of people even a week to be honest like most people can't do even a week and the amount of like a, the erection quality increase the ability to just like get horny regardless of what you're watching or not watching like just sitting there and just thinking about something it's like magnitudes higher and people don't realize how much they're desensitizing themselves and fucking up their brains yeah i think it's becoming more widely known and people still do it though even knowing it's like bad for them well it's a lot of teenagers got problematic libido and it's it's just hard to focus when that's in the back of your head like you know just yeah. yeah I remember that day. So now I'm a little bit better, a little bit older, uh, even though I'm on exogenous hormones. Like my hormone balance is completely managed, right? I, I manage everything, but I can also control the libido. So I just hold it. I patiently wait until right, my wife is available. And then okay, I take, take care of business. For you guys, <laughs> talking about allocating mental resources to the gym, mm-hmm. what is your mental resource allotment like for sex with your wives like do you guys have a certain time of day because you know it's going to like eat up mental capacity a bit or is it how many times a week or what is it for you guys well leo you want to go first (laughs) 
I'm a little bit, but I have some comments before we move on. There's some, some interesting, thing. I just wanted to mention the NoFap thing. The reason why I was curious about it, I'm wondering if, if you believe Derek, that it affects your motivation outside of sex also. Let's just yeah. go back to that. And then I wanted yeah. to mention the weird thing about the NoFap thing is it's actually really ancient, right? So yoga positions, one of the weirdest things about yoga is a lot of these upside down positions and they're not weird, but I mean, the historical origin of it is this idea of keeping the semen, which is your power within you. And originally they thought, I'm not joking, I've seen these diagrams, they thought that upside down, the semen would go to your head. So like a lot of it <laughs> wow. came that way. A lot of the positions were developed around this idea of holding uh, sexual energy, which is your life force energy. So there's yeah, some, yeah. and then I wanted to mention a uh, final thing, just um, if you don't jack off for a long time, just for people to know, that is actually one of the ways that you can increase the atrophy of your penis over time in your lifetime. The reason why uh, for, for people that are younger like us who haven't experienced this yet, I read a lot of papers and get consultations from people in their 50s and 60s. Oftentimes, if I ever get a consultation with somebody about penis enlargement or about uh, libido and the guy's in his 50s, I ask, has your penis gotten smaller in the last 20 years? Every single time. Yeah, it did. How did, how did you know that? What is, and I, I always notice this. What it is, I think, is that over time, due to changes in androgen signaling, you get less blood flow to the penis because of less morning erections, other than jacking off. And those morning erections seem to be part of maintaining the health, I think, in the penis. Think of it this way. Your blood vessels are no, normally dilated. The penis's vessels can dilate so much more than they would be at rest. So I think that mechanism is part of maintaining the health of the penis. Evidence of this, in the finasteride studies, you can see that there's apoptosis of cells in the top part of the penis of the rodents who have less uh, DHT signaling because of less endothelial nitric oxide synthase signaling from the androgen receptor on the penis. So basically their blood vessels dilate less, but then coincidentally the cells atrophy and die. So just a warning for people that that want to say like for example because some people i've been talking to on the channel like i have done no fap for a year i was like ah oh, my condolences like you've lost some cells in your penis and you probably shouldn't have done that i mean at the very least you could have pumped and not not um ejaculated just to maintain the yeah. health this is no fap without a partner no, yeah i think use oh, it yeah. or lose it <laughs> yeah. is like something that actually kind of applies because it's like even when you don't do like stuff with your brain for example when you don't read and you don't try to actively learn like even my time off like i feel stupider than when i left for joe rogan two months ago right now like because i haven't been actively like involved in what's going on haven't been staying up to date on literature haven't even been reviewing the stuff that i was like you know even super interested in already like some of the stuff i like random stuff i have to double check my own videos to remember because it's just been like a little bit so even with like the dick thing or muscle at the gym, if you don't train it or like not train your dick, but like if it doesn't get erect ever mm -hmm. and it's just sitting there flaccid all the time, like I would expect that there would be shrinkage, you know? Yeah, and if you're I, not I getting think... adequate like NO nitric oxide to it as well, like your ceiling on your erection quality is obviously probably like, I would imagine, and this is something that's hugely controversial in the finasteride and 5-alpha reductase inhibition like discussion is a lot of people i think the lack of dhc is so imperceivable not lack of dhc but reduction in it is so imperceivable that they don't notice the the reduction in erection quality but i would imagine let's just say you were at 100 percent pre finasteride i would imagine a lot of people end up at like 95 percent or something or 90 percent maybe and they just like don't notice the difference but yeah like dhc does definitely play a role in the health and you know like function of your erections i would say what for also, a lot of people what i also think is an issue with this fapping uh frequently is that the duration of your with the what? fapping <laughs> fapping fapping masturbation you're right fapping. steve i'm with you i don't know what that word is either we'll call yeah. it fapping because i really no, so, I'm I don't sorry. Know it's, it's my dutch accent creeping up on me <laughs> so masturbation right frequent masturbation i think the duration of the er erection is very short so you don't allow for a lot of blood flow, you, you, right? You get a semi boner, you take care of it, and then it's done. True. Whereas, True. Where, with whereas porn, with, right? It, yeah, with porn. True. So with, whereas with intercourse, you have a little bit of foreplay, right? You have intercourse, you have to clean up afterwards. I think your erection is like, well, maybe in my case, maybe 10 times longer. Yeah. And it's you True. see that at night where you have multiple erections to improve blood flow to the penis, right? And then send, send nutrients and, and just improve blood flow overall. And those That's are great multi point. multiple minutes as well. And you have multiple erections throughout the night. So how many times did we wake up with a boner 
but you have to go to the bathroom and you sit there waiting for the bone uh -huh. to go down so you can actually pee and this keeps you awake also this is horrible but it happens but is, and, is the masturbation also training you to uh because if you're efficient by the time you're like 25 or so you can masturbate very quickly and get the job done <laughs> yeah. so is the masturbation also like training i wonder is it training you to ejaculate faster if you're not uh, having sex with women as often, I, I, you know what I, I mean? Think that, that I, think, I think if you did, sorry, but I think if you're doing the whole porn thing and fapping way too much, you're desensitizing yourself to a point that not only is it harder to get off, but you like can't even get hard with a hot girl in front of you a lot of times. Yeah, that's, that's the yeah, psychology. Because of what, with the porn that you're watching and you're desensitizing your penis by doing this masturbation. And well, especially if you're a bodybuilder on steroids, I mean, how bad... Yeah. is your hand quality from all this training so you, you'll have to resort to lotions and 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 no these guys with whatever. like vice grip bodybuilder hands and then you go to have sex with a new chick with a condom True. like good luck feeling good luck. enough i had the you same know? issue dude when i was like very sexually active in my younger years yeah. right here you're like enraged and then yeah. you don't feel anything yeah enraged at home <laughs> i mean you're enraged at home you just do do the wrong thing and then you have a condom with a girl with a regular you just don't yeah. you don't feel anything that's, that's one of the reasons why i stopped but, but doing that stuff like sometimes over that, a decade sometimes ago. that happens because the condom is too tight by the way and just to let you guys know uh, like, yeah it's sometimes you don't notice the condoms very tight mm -hmm. honestly like if you try a normal magnum not that magnum xl okay yeah. that's for other people but the magnum xl is very extreme the normal magnum isn't it's a bit looser it's way easier to use bro if you ever oh, really? if you try yeah, you mm -hmm. might be if it's slightly tight, it'll it'll cause that also to happen. So it'll be life in to Thailand, you have to, you have those uh, the, those cookie cutter condoms that are super tight. So I'd always had to order them online and get Trojans delivered. Yeah, because the, the condoms here, it's I mean they break that... easy. Yeah, oh, oh dude, wow. yeah, it's like I didn't pinky, know that. pinky size. <laughs> if you like asphyxiation, that that's the that's the way to do it. You know, you got to. I remember living, back. You get those super tight condoms. <laughs> <laughs> back when i used to bath mate pump like stupid like for a ridiculous amount of times like the duration was so excessive that i used it before fucking when i was like maybe like 21 22 i used to get, <laughs> like, get the, the trojan that magnum and i would be like you couldn't because you have so much like fluid build up too from doing it fluid, way too yeah. long yeah and it would just be like this fucking weird like it doesn't even look like a penis anymore it's just this <laughs> giant fucking hammer hanging off you yeah and the only thing you, you can do with it is slap you have to take a magnum and like go like that and like pull it over because you can't even roll it on and, and then you just show up with this fucking balloon dick ready to go because a couple of things happen so then the lady thinks you have like a weird looking dick you, it could yeah. be also slightly like pinkish or red because it's inflamed from the thing yeah and then it looks like uh for anyone who's not done this before it's even it's really weird looking your your penis head because it could be tra traumatized the head doesn't get full fully but the rest of the thing is like fat and it yeah. like if you're circumcised it'll accumulate around the end of the penis this lymphatic fluid now porn stars like this sometimes because it looks impressive it's not overdone but uh a lot of people i think do that party trick i've done like 10 hours in the pump i've done 11 oh hours oh my god yeah. dude yeah we didn't dude, know about sometimes you end up with like asymmetric fluid buildup too so you'll have like a fat dick and then it's like juts out to the <laughs> side all fucked up and you're or it just goes like in and back out yeah and explain you'd like, that you know <laughs> i remember there was a certain amount of time that i would have between i would pump for like 40 minutes or something something like absurd like max pressure for like 40 minutes and then maybe even longer fuck and then i would uh that was nothing knew, that was daily i knew i had like a certain amount of hours before it like resembled an actual penis again ver yes, versus yes. so and then like, it gets really it would, good extra full after it recovers yeah so you would have like a yeah. mutant dick for like six hours or something and then it would sort of like transform like shrink back down a little bit to like the before it gets back to baseline you have this like medium sweet spot where it's yeah. like not yeah. a mutant yeah. but not a normal size dick it has like enough fluid where it looks like a dick but it's like yes. way bigger so, so, so you would try and like time your sex so it's like not only are your your pde5 yeah. inhibitors peaking and everything's perfect but you've also had your dick is like not completely like fucking horrible to look at at the time that is so true. you know you know that women talk right so i would like to know for because you both of you have been done doing penis pumping for right some time 
I would like to know if you get a positive review afterwards, leading to other girls wanting to get another an experience like that. Because I, I do know that I, when I was sexually active and, and had multiple partners at the same time, the girls would talk. And if you leave them a good review, then other girls would like to get a part of the action as well. I so so I would like to know, so that, oh, this guy's like kind of like a monster penis. I need to get my writing. I, I, does that happen or no? Not in no? my experience. I think you might, you must have, because my penis at the max got to around nine inches in length. That's not as impressive. No, dude, there are bone people press with, or non bone press? Bone press. Like, okay, so what's like non eight or so? Okay. A eight. lot of people would hear that and they'd be like, no fucking no, way. But bone yeah, press exactly. is. Bone press means no one pushing, measures bone press except hat. people who do PE. So yeah, exactly. non bone pressed, what was it? I mean, I don't know. I don't measure that. We in PE we don't measure non bone press because you get fatter or less fat, and the pubic pad goes mm. in and out. So I, like, I don't know. That's like not maybe what it's you like eight and a quarter. With, though you're that's like no, counting no, no. your inner penis is like a bit unfair. No, it's not non as because mine was stretched fully. So I mine what happened was, I, this is a little bit too detailed, but the point is originally you would say it's not fair right because you have a bit of fat yeah. there and because you're the inner part i'm trying to explain this like imagine your penis is exiting this way the inner part is a bit tied in there and when you when you use the ruler you're sort of pressing in there but when it exits lower which mine eventually got to you have the full use mine actually the angle went down oh. so like it was yeah it was you get if you if you if you basically if you if you thrust hard it's going fully in like I could, I couldn't yeah. go, I couldn't go fully in most girls. They will get hurt. Mm. Yeah. But, but my, what <laughs> I'm trying to say thing. is, dude, there are a lot of there are a lot of uh, guys with. I guess there are guys with huge dicks because you sometimes you hear about these girls that that they say, oh, this, there was this guy, his dick was this. I mean, there are people like that. So chicks get around, they encounter those. They'll always tell you, you, you have a huge penis. I love it's perfect. But yeah. you're not. I mean, we're all we're all pretty much similar. So I don't really, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't believe what they say. And then I know that I know there's some chicks that encounter these like basketball players and stuff like that that are pro. So I, I don't think they were talking about me. For me, me, it never really made a difference on retention. To answer the question, at least I don't think it did. But it, at the time, when you're more insecure about this stuff and you're younger, mm -hmm. it gives you more peace of mind going into situations if you are more confident in what you're dealing with so yes. i think it's as as silly as the whole thing may sound to people who like otherwise are secure in themselves which to be honest not very many people are secure about that stuff anyway so mm -hmm. i can see why a lot of people gravitate to it but just knowing that that's another one less thing you have to think about because a lot of guys when they're new to having sex at all you know they're like oh my god is my not only is my dick even gonna like work properly am i gonna come too fast but also, like, am I small compared to the other guys? Like, am I going to stack up, blah, blah, blah. So just not having that to worry about is huge for a young guy's self-confidence, I feel like. So it doesn't even matter if the chick thinks it's, like, way better or anything at the end of the day, in my opinion. Oh, I have I two things I, I want to say real quick, just to, yeah. before I forget, because I think they're important. They might help people out. Sorry, sorry, brother. Just want to say that the pump for younger guys listening to this, if you're not insecure about your size, it's still valuable because... I mentioned this on my channel before the most valuable part for me was like like Derek said obviously the confidence but also the confidence comes from having better erectile quality so yeah, yeah. you can like like what I mentioned on my channel you know if you're having sex with a girl and you stand up especially if you have muscle you stand up your erection gets weaker like if you're trying to get in a new position you have to like jack off again or something like that if you pump properly you get such good erectile quality that that doesn't happen so you have that kind of confidence of not no, not being scared that you're gonna not get hard or something else traumatic is gonna happen to you like that, that mm -hmm. that's that's all i want oh the last thing i want to say is just about like you know you have to stand up for yourself as a guy you should i feel like uh to younger guys I feel like I made a mistake being in. I wasn't insecure. Real. I was trying to maximize. I thought everything about myself. But to be honest with you, bro, the girls are not doing that for us. Like, I don't know if you guys know this. There are balls girls can put in their pussies and or uh, sorry, vaginas. I, I don't know if it's a bad word or whatever. There's there's balls that you can hide weights from. I've had girls do my ex my exes do this different sizes of balls so you can go into a smaller ball that you hang a weight from just like us they can hang they can hold they can learn to hold a certain static yeah, position with heavier weights yeah yeah Focus not kegel this is uh, like kegels with resistance exercise so you wow. can hold a static weight with a weight and you can also there's something called the gyne flex this is like a gripper for the penis there mm. you can be dynamic so she can learn to hold so powerfully bro 
if you have a girl who trains mm. this, it's unbelievable. She can make you come at any moment because it's not yeah. that light pull. It's like she strangles your dick because oh, they can do that. But if they're not worried about that. They're not worried. They're not asking you, am I loose? Am I loose? Did yeah. you, were you with a girl tighter than me? They don't ask that. Yeah. Why do we have to worry about us? Yeah, right? that's, that's very yeah. true. Yeah, Sorry but if, if, if you have a good supportive partner, they will do that for you. I will, I will just tell you. Yeah, that. of course. So the, I think the worst thing about penis enlargement, I, like I, I've never done it. But I've met girls in my, especially when I was younger, you know, maybe, maybe girls are like 18, 20 years old that are so tight that you have like two inches or one inch of dead space. So it means you, you can never connect your pelvis to the girl because it's just too much. You can't go in fully. And I think that's a, another main issue of like if you get a nine inch penis in a girl that's not ready for that, Solution. you have like this much space left. No, and that's not very pleasurable also right I no mean, it is it really <laughs> is it i think the I'll most fun part is when you like you oh, fuck, we're gonna go to way too I... much details but you go in <laughs> fully and your hips connect and you're like yes i'm all the way to the end but the, that's true if you go in fully and you're like oh and you get the hands on your stomach like oh it's too much i know yeah. it's it's not so much fun in my opinion and i've had that happen a couple times where the girl's just not ready for well i have average size Unless unless you meet a girl, two, two situations. Unless you meet a girl who likes cul-de-sac orgasms, they're rare. Some girls like that end pain thing. The mm -hmm. second thing, though, is this is the solution. This is the hack. You'll start to like girls with huge asses. That's the reason. Yeah, you so when girls batting. have huge asses yeah, and you do doggy style, the exit part of your penis is never exited. It's still no, touching right. them a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah. There's a hack to it. Uh, I, think I don't too, get too I don't detailed. get guys who like huge asses personally because it's like in if it's like muscular from working out or something like I would sort of get it but when it's like I don't know like usually it's representative of like worse body composition in general yeah yeah you know so it's like there's I don't a, there's get a nice, guys are like <laughs> there's a nice round ass all right but it shouldn't be so big that you need another two inches just to get the job done. Like I want like tight, tiny, where it's like I can see their fucking asshole without having to like go like this. Holy yeah. shit! <laughs> oh my god, we have opposite 